the exam 7 and today in the class we will run over the practice exam but we ran out of time to uh, solve problem 20 in the classroom so i thought i should solve it and share it with you or identical mass right and i ask you to find very simple thing which one okay which one mu is the smallest right and that's all i ask you i gave you more information i gave you i apply five neutron here i applied four neutron here so this is smaller i applied three neutron here and i applied two neutron here okay make this one a little bigger and then make, make this one a little bigger okay good which one mu is the smallest and which one mu is biggest? So this mu is biggest and this mu is second biggest. This mu is uh, this size. Okay, let's make it a little bigger. And this mu is the smallest. Why is that? Because mu is of course f f over mu is f f over f n f f over f n f f over f n f f over f n. What is FF? Okay, let's take you to the friction graph, FF, FA, right? Okay, so you have three locations, location one, two, and three. These three objects, four objects are at constant velocity. Const, constant velocity. What does constant velocity mean? Acceleration is zero, that's what it means. Now, what location, whose location can describe this uh, the behavior of this object. What well, location two? Why? Why location two? Because at location two you have FF is equal to FA, right? What do you call FF at location two? You call it FF as max. And this is what it is, right? This is what it is, right? At location two, applied force is equal to force of friction. This is why you don't have any acceleration. If applied force is bigger than force of friction, then you have an acceleration. And applied force uh, and the and the force of friction can never be bigger than applied force. Okay, good. All right. So, what is Fn? The object is moving with constant velocity. One kilogram object moves with constant velocity. What does that mean? That means that the y direction. At the y direction, there are two forces acting on it. You have Fz and you have Fn. Since there is no acceleration at the y direction, this is mg. m is 1, g is 10. So 10 newton. Okay, so this is equal in magnitude opposite in direction 10 newton. Therefore, 10 minus 10 is 0 at the y direction. How much force acting at the y direction? 0. Good. That's why at the y direction, observe acceleration is zero now let's come back replace fn by 10 replace fn by 10 replace fn by 10 replace fn by 10 now replace ff by what do you see over here replace ff by what do you see over here replace ff by what do you see over here replace ff by what do you see over here so what do you get over here 0 0.2 0 0.3 uh, 0 0.4 and 0.5 Okay, this is why I made it bigger, and then this is why I made it smaller. Hopefully you understood this problem. This is critical for tomorrow, so make sure you have a full understanding of not only uh, problem 20, but also all the problem. Let me know if you need any other uh, 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 scaffolding, any other uh, tutorial for any other problem.